guys. I have a meltdown because the little McGriddle came apart. I'm gonna figure that out and get back to you. There's no line at Hardy's. Today is just not a vibe, but we're gonna work through it together. Good morning, you guys. It's very early in the morning here and I'm trying to be quiet because Bryce and Miles are still asleep. So I'm wondering if I can do this before they wake up. Not really sure yet. It's so early that I tried to sit in my normal filming spot in front of the window and the lighting is just trash because the sun is literally not all the way up yet. So new filming location unlocked, but today I have another Timu haul and this isn't even all of it. I have a bunch of bags over here beside me and I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this with you guys. If you guys have never heard of Timu, Timu is a website and an app. They also have an app where they sell everything you could imagine. Clothes, toys, things for your home, organization, everything. And the prices are ridiculously low. You can order a ton of stuff and not feel guilty about it because you're not gonna be spending a lot of money. Timu also offers free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. They accept all major debit and credit cards, electronic payments, and pay later programs such as Klarna or Afterpay. And for spring, they're having a huge site-wide sale where you can save up to 90% off. I'm gonna have Timu linked down below as well as everything that I'm sharing with you guys in today's video in case you want to purchase it as well. I'm also gonna have a discount code down below for you guys also. So I did get a few articles of clothing in this haul. There were no clothes in the first haul, but the first thing I got is the shirt that I'm wearing right here. It's just a graphic tee, you guys know that's all I wear pretty much is graphic tees. But this one is kind of almost like a crop top. I didn't really realize that when I was ordering it, but it looks cute with leggings and I feel like it'll look cute with jean shorts for the summertime, but really love this. That's the first article of clothing. The next one is for Miles, my one-year-old. So Liam and Bryce got some new swimming trunks and like a matching top that goes with it for the summertime. So I got Miles this little dinosaur like swim suit, I guess you could say, and just has this zipper on the back of it. I have actually never bought any of my kids like a swimsuit like this that looks like a romper. I usually just get them swimming trunks. So this is adorable. You guys know how much I love rompers. He's gonna look so cute in this. I also got him a little outfit. How small it looks laying on me, but it's just like a gray and white shirt with buttons and it comes with these matching shorts. Oh my gosh, it just looks so soft and comfy. I think it's really, really cute. So this shirt is adorable. I'm obsessed with it. And I tried to find one that had the year I was born on it because I was born in 1992, but they didn't have that unfortunately, but they had 1982. So it says vintage 1982 original parts. This one is longer as you can see. So it's not gonna be like a crop. See how it's longer? And my sister was born in 1982. We are 10 years apart. So I actually got this for her and she's gonna be super excited. So another shirt that I found is just this gray one with the buttons on it. It has the like folded sleeve if you can see there. And again, I think this is gonna just look really cute with like some jean shorts for the summertime. You guys know I need some new clothes. I also got a new bath mat because we need one really, really badly. And it's just amazing to me how expensive things have gotten because I looked at bath mats just the other day for a bath mat. It's just so expensive. So I was like, I'm getting one from Timu. So I just got this gray one. Nothing too crazy or anything. We just needed to replace the one that we have. So I was excited to find that on there. I did get another piece of clothing, I forgot. This is actually the one that I was the most excited about. So it's just this green dress and it has pockets, don't you worry. But I felt like it would just be a perfect little dress for the spring and summertime. It's very comfortable, it's fairly modest, which I really like. And they had a whole bunch of different colors. The next thing that I found was this, I haven't opened it or set it up yet. Whoa, it's a laundry hamper, but what I liked about it was how narrow it was. I specifically searched for a narrow laundry basket hamper. What did I say? Laundry basket for our bathroom because in our bathroom, there's this tiny like narrow cubby, maybe as wide as this. And the baskets that I already have, I have some narrow ones, but they're not narrow enough. They don't fit. And so they had exactly what I was looking for. I'm really excited to use this. So I got this gray color and also, I don't remember ordering two. Ooh, I really like this color. I think I like this one better. This one's like a white or a cream color. 
super cute and it has little handles on it to make it easy to carry around i feel like i got such a variety of things in this haul so this right here is actually not exactly what i expected but there's two in here i thought i ordered two like clear coffee mugs let me get it to focus so obviously this is smaller than i thought it would be but i'm gonna pour my espresso shots into these glasses so i'm not mad at it at all i haven't been drinking hot coffee lately anyways so i was just i just picked it out just to pick it out because they're so cute and i see everyone drinking their hot coffee out of the little clear mugs but really excited about this because some of my glasses that i put my iced coffee in are too tall to fit under my nespresso machine so now i can just pour the nespresso shot into these and then just pour it into my big does that make sense so i'm actually really excited to have these and they're very very cute so the next thing i found is this little dinosaur toy holder for the bathtub i've been meaning to buy one of these for the longest time and i just haven't and so we're just like shoving the kids toys out of our way every time we go to take a shower so i'm glad to have this i'm gonna just open it up really quickly to see okay yeah that'll fit a lot of toys now there is a second one in here and it's like a little chick, which is super cute as well. I'll hang this sucker. If, if this doesn't fit all their toys, which I think it will, but if they accumulate more, we'll just hang both of these suckers in there. It'll be fine. The next thing that I found is super cute and Liam's gonna be so excited about it. Like I said, they have such a variety of stuff on their website. It's crazy. So this is a game cards portable storage box. I'm gonna take it out because the packaging is making it kind of hard to see. The boys both play on a Switch. Josh has a switch as well. So this is what it looks like. Liam is obsessed with Pokemon. So it's got all the Pokemon things on the case. It's a case for switch games. So it can hold 24 games in it. So I just thought that that would be really, really nice for him to have. And it's nice and small and compact instead of having like all the game cases all over the place, which is how it is now. And it drives me crazy. So the next thing you guys are gonna be shocked to know that I've never owned one of these since I'm obsessed with coffee, but I have not. I've never had one of these and I have been wanting one in the box. Don't let the box fool you because I did order a beautiful, aesthetically pleasing white one, okay? I think this may be the last of it and my kids are not awake yet. Wow. So these are just some little like bath toys that you, let me show you the back of it. You wind them up and I think he's a frog. So he lays on his back and swims. We've got two of them. So the kids are really going to enjoy that. I was kind of like in that section on the website whenever I found this and then I saw bath toys. And so I was just like, you know what, why not? But yeah, that's everything that I got in this haul from Timu. I have been loving their stuff so far. You guys, if you missed my previous haul, I'll link it down below, but everything has been so good. I've been using all of it. I have my coffee somewhere in one of my cups that I got from Timu. A lot of you guys on my last video said that you were really excited to check out Timu and you were gonna order some of the stuff that I ordered and use my code. I highly recommend that you guys check out Timu. Like I said, I'm gonna have everything linked down below, discount code down below. And I wanted to say thank you to Timu again for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, the lighting in this house is just like, it's not okay right now. It's it's too early. I wanna tell you guys, I'm trying to do better about not washing my hair as much. So my hair actually looks like trash today because I'm on the day of the week where I let it just kind of be a little bit dirty and I just let it be. But when my hair is dirty, it's like mega flat. So it's just like mega flat today, but we're not washing it until tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you guys where I was planning on filming my Timu haul and why I didn't. It was gonna be like right here, honestly. That's how it looked. That's where I filmed it last time, but it was a totally different time of day. If I wanted to hold the camera and sit right here, it would have been okay. But anyways, we have to run to the grocery store, get our grocery pickup order. Literally the last time I did a Timu haul, we had to get groceries and I did a grocery haul, but it just kind of landed that way. It wasn't on purpose, it wasn't planned, okay? Next time I get groceries, I'll probably go into the store and do a shopping portion for you guys because I haven't done it the past two grocery hauls now. But that's the plan for today. I feel like I'm like scatterbrained today. I need to get it together, but I don't think it's gonna happen. It's a Monday, it's just, today's just not a vibe, but we're gonna work through it together. Did you bring your brother a snack? Look, he just brought him crackers. So now he's just vibing in his bed, eating some peanut butter crackers. What? Oh, he's watching that? Yeah. Oh, hair is so messy. I'll say, hey. Good morning. Mom. Mom. Mouse 
and it won't say what? And again. What? It said weird. And again. Was Miles in here awake? Yeah. So you brought him a snack? Yeah. Well, that was really nice. And it was good to watch Fail. And you turned a show on. Let's not show them the disgusting room. We're not we're not getting our life together today. Yes. So they didn't have the Tyson, so they gave you the great value with chicken breast, is that all right? Yeah, I saw that. That's fine. Okay. All in the chat? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. So we have our groceries. I think I'm gonna go somewhere and get something to eat before I do this grocery haul, but I'm not really sure where I wanna go yet. Miles is like, get me home. I don't wanna be sitting in this car seat. I'm gonna figure that out and get back to you. There's no line at Hardee's and it's breakfast time. This is bizarre. Hello, welcome to Hardee's. Would you like to try a Frisco breakfast sandwich today? Um, yes, actually, can I just get the Frisco breakfast sandwich with ham and that's all? All right, just one Frisco with ham. Is that going to be all for you today, hon? Yeah, that's it. 550, please drive on around. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank Have a good you. Day. You too. Now we're getting the boys some McDonald's because it's like the only, I've, I said this in a recent video, it's the only place that they like breakfast from. They like the sausage McGriddle. Miles just eats the actual McGriddle patty. He doesn't even eat the sausage. This is useless information, but that's what we're doing. For Courtney? Yes. All right, would you like anything added to it today? No, thank you. All right, go ahead and pull for it. Thank you. Thank you. I say thank you a lot, don't I? We're not wasting any time because I don't want them to cry. Well, not them, just Miles, to cry on the way home. So we're going to give him a little potty. There you go. Literally, my kids are obsessed with these McGriddles. It's crazy. Ever since I let them try one like a couple of years ago, they will not eat just a sausage biscuit. So they get to have a sugar rush, I suppose. This is what I get from Hardee's. If you have Hardee's and you just still get just like something on a biscuit from them, what happened? I have a meltdown because a little McGriddle came apart. Anyway, they have a croissant that's good. Their Frisco breakfast sandwich. You can get it with bacon. You can't really see what's on here, but you can get it with bacon, sausage, or ham. I just get ham and it's heavenly. It's so good. I honestly didn't want breakfast food, but it was too early to get lunch. It was literally only 25 minutes too early to get lunch, but who has time to wait? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna eat this so none of us are hangry while I'm trying to do my little grocery haul. I have my water. This has actually just been sitting in the in the van. That's the only perk to it being cold outside is I don't feel weird about drinking water that's been sitting in the van. I'll probably pick half of this ham off. Let me know if you're the same way. There's just there's a lot of ham on there. I don't want all of it. Okay, wow, would you guys believe me if I told you that this was $100? Because this was $100. Also, this is not the first or second time that I have ordered ricotta cheese for a pasta and not received it, and I'm starting to not think it's my fault or a coincidence anymore because it's missing. But anyways, we're gonna start here, breakfast food. So we got some bacon, we got some eggs, some biscuits, and then Josh's breakfast bowls for work. I'm gonna do a like pasta bake with some pasta I already have here, some ground beef I already have here. I was gonna use ricotta. I guess I still need to buy that. So got garlic breadsticks and some Parmesan cheese. I got two of these little Amy's burritos. They're so good. I tell you guys every time, if you haven't tried them, they're very, very good. I had ordered a three pound bag of the Tyson chicken breast tenderloins, but they were out of it. And so they substituted it for the great value chicken breasts and it was the same price, but I got five pounds of chicken instead of three. So I'm not complaining one bit. I got some broccoli. We're gonna make chicken fried rice. So I got some broccoli and then I got these carrots instead. Cause I'm just gonna kind of like cut them into like three pieces, if that makes any sense, instead of doing the baby carrots. I feel like it'll be easier. We shall see. I got some sour cream for some poppy seed chicken we're gonna make. Also, by the way, some of these recipes, like the poppy seed chicken, I'm gonna put in a dinners of the week video. I promise one is coming. I'm just trying to accumulate enough meals to put it together. I got some salsa because I did make that breakfast burrito the other day and it was fire dipping it in the salsa and I ran out. So I'm gonna be doing that again. We needed some more regular ranch. I just bought some light ranch the other day, but Josh won't eat it. So we needed some regular ranch. I got some jasmine rice for the chicken fried rice. We got some Ritz crackers for the poppy seed chicken. I got myself a little treat y'all. I love the white Reese's. 
and so I got myself some little eggs. I have not had these in forever, so I got this for a quick lunch. Is it healthy? No, but I like them. I only eat one too. I don't like eat the whole box. And then I got the boys some snacks and we great valued it up, okay? We great valued it up this week. And they like all of these things in the Great Value brand, which we always get the fruit and grain bars. You guys know, We've got apple, cinnamon, and strawberry. They like the Oreos. They love the fudge stripes. And then any kind of fruit snack is good for them. So we got these. I didn't get a big box because they will just eat them all day long if I do get a big, huge box. We got some bread for peanut butter and jellies and just sandwiches. I got these mini pancakes for them for breakfast because the last time I bought these, they loved them. So Josh's Mountain Dew. And then I needed some more multi-purpose spray. I got the Mrs. Myers. I've been using this like random, let me just show you this right here. I found it at a different Walmart, not the one that I usually go to. And it looked cute and gorgeous, but I don't know. It seems like a degreaser type of spray. If you've ever had like the method, like degreaser one, um, I don't know. I just don't like it. It leaves residue. I don't know. I've just been trying to use it, but it's almost out. So I got some Miss Myers and then I got some Mr. Clean Febreze, smelly, moppy stuff. So yeah, a hundred doll hairs and literally the only meat. Well, I, yeah, I got bacon, but I got cheap bacon. Mainly the only meat I got was this and this was just $12. Like, do we need to, do I need to check my receipt? Because this seems insane. So the ricotta cheese is not listed on here. So at least I didn't pay for it, but I need it. That would have been an easy dinner to make tonight. So I'm going to have to make something else. But anyways, I have so much that I feel like I need to get done today. And I just need to focus on it focus on it. So I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to check out Timu down below. I hope you guys enjoyed my teeny tiny grocery haul. It I felt like I ordered more stuff. We got enough dinners for the week and then got the kids some snacks and stuff like that. But I don't know. That's not a lot of food. We're probably going to have to go back sooner than I'm thinking. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. We post a lot of vlogs, grocery hauls, shop with me's, dinner videos, all the things. So if you're into lifestyle content, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Before we go, I'm going to see if Brass will do again what he just did. Do it again. On the get a ball. So I had my camera in my hand. I was just messing with it and I had it out like this. And he walks up to me and he goes, Mama, say good morning, guys. Okay? Good morning, say, guys. Say good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Yeah. Yeah? Look how the lighting's good over here now. Well, I said a ball. And I like low key wish that I had red. waited and filmed my no, haul this? over here. Because it looks so much better now, but I am impatient. It's my, I mean. Okay.